ان الحمد لله نحمده ونستعينه ونستغفره ونعوذ بالله من شرور انفسنا ومن سيئات اعمالنا من يهده الله فلا مضل له ومن يضلل فلا هادي له اشهد ان لا اله الا الله وحده لا شريك له واشهد ان محمدا عبده ورسوله يا ايها الذين امنوا اتقوا الله حق تقاته ولا تموتن الا وانتم مسلمون يا ايها الناس اتقوا ربكم الذي خلقكم من نفس واحده وخلق منها زوجها وبث منهما رجالا كثيرا ونساء واتقوا الله تساءلون به والارham ان الله كان عليكم رقيبا يا ايها الذين امنوا اتقوا الله وقولوا قولا سديدا يصلح لكم اعمالكم ويغفر لكم ذنوبكم وما يطع الله ورسوله فقد فاز فوزا عظيما اما بعد فان اصدق الحديث كتاب الله وخير الحدي حدي محمد صلى الله عليه وسلم وشر الامور محدثاتها وكل محدثه بدع وكل بدعه ضلاله وكل ضلاله في النار ثم اما بعد الامنشنز ان سوره المائده and when you proclaim the call for salah they take it as a mockery and fun that is because they are a people who understand not so Allah mentions here that when the call for prayer is made there are those who take it as a mockery you will find some people grunting with some low voices some people having a twisted face some people even turning up their music sets louder just to block out the azan you will even find some who say they are muslim taking it as a mockery you will find them doing evil deeds at the time the adhan is being called here in the call to prayer not making their way to the masjid much more not even making their way home or to a, a little space in the corner of the shop to perform the prayer but we say we are muslim be mindful and do not take the adhan the call to prayer as a mockery verily allah has guided us allah has chosen us allah has favored and honored us honored us to be muslim this is something we should not take for granted also to alhamdulillah in this masjid we try our best to keep the adhan going for the five times salah so you will find one or two brothers coming out on the early morning to make that call you will find some brothers leaving work early to come for the zuhur prayer you will find some brothers coming out for the asr some coming out for the maghrib some coming out for the isha to 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 call the adhan to keep the salah flowing in the community and this is something that we should take heed to as muslims this is something allah has favored us with because there are other masajid even in the same community where they cannot call the adhan for the fajr salah they cannot call the adhan for the fajr salah because the people complain and they complain to the police they only making too much noise at that time only need to do something else take it down so they stop calling the other 
And I tell my brother, I see me, he say, how things, how the community going, things, I say, God, Alhamdulillah, he say, I don't, I don't see the Adhan, even for the Fajr. I don't know why they stop calling it down by us. This is something Allah has favored us with and honored us with. Whereby if we do not take care of it, Allah could take it away from us. Because the, the one or two other places, they don't have that, that favor anymore. Allah has removed it. The people started to complain. Alhamdulillah, when the Adhan is called here in the morning, people like that, the disbelievers, they like that. Because they know it's, it's time for them to get up and get ready. This is something we need to be mindful of, especially those who claim the function at this masjid. Moving on, from Mamabad. When the Muslims arrived in Medina, <coughs> when they migrated from Mecca to Medina, <coughs> they used to assemble for the prayer. And they used to guess the time of it. During those days, the practice of the Adhan for the prayers had not been introduced yet. Once they discussed this problem regarding the call for prayer, some people suggested the use of a bell like the Christians. Others proposed a trumpet like the horn of the Jews. But Omar radiallahu ta'ala anhu was the first to suggest that a man should call the people for the prayer. And in some narrations it mentions that they had a dream. So Allah's messenger sallallahu alayhi wa sallam he ordered Bilal to get up and pronounce the adhan for the prayers. So that is how the Adhan came about to announce the call for the prayers so that we could come out for the prayers in the masjid. Not just pray at home, not just hear the Adhan calling and we wake up, we make wudu and we pray lazily and then we just go back to sleep. It is for us as men to come to the masjid to establish the solar and be mindful of making a mockery of the solar and the adal. So, Mamabad, looking now at some of the virtues, some of the merits of calling the adal. The Messenger of Allah, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, said, were people to know the blessing of pronouncing the Adhan and the standing in the first row, they would even draw lots to secure those privileges. So if people knew the amount of reward and virtue and blessing for calling the Adhan and establishing their Salah in the front row for the men, they would do so even if they had to cast lots. People will give wealth. They will give limbs just to call the Adhan due to the tremendous blessings that it has. The Messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said the Mu'adhan will have the longest necks on the day of resurrection, on that day, on that day when many people will be terrified, when they will be so terrified that they will be sweating from terror, the sun will be brought near. People will be sweating, some up to their ankles, some up to their knees. Some people will be sweating up to their chest, up to their necks. Some people will be sweating and drowning in their sweats. The Moazin, he will have the longest neck on the day of judgment. These are from the merits and the virtues 
of calling the adhan. The Messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, when the adhan for salah is pronounced, the devil takes to his heels and he breaks wind with noise so as not to hear the call. When the adhan is finished, he returns. When the ikoma is announced, he turns his back. And after it is finished, he returns again to distract the attention of one and make some remember things which he does not recall in his mind before the solar. And says, remember this and remember this. And thus causes one to forget how many rakah he has performed. So when the other is being called, the devil, the shayateen, they take to their heels and they disperse because they do not, do not want to hear this beautiful pronunciation and certain words. So they take to their heels and they divert. And when it is finished, they come back. And when the coma is being pronounced, they turn their backs. And again, you will find some of those who say they are Muslims having attitudes, having actions like this, that when the Adhan is called, all the time lying, or talking, when the Adhan is called, they're ready to, to do so. Walking distance from the masjid, ready to do so. Do not follow in the footsteps of the devil. And so much so, he turns his back from the coma. When the coma is finished, he, re he comes back and he returns to a person and he starts to whisper. Do you remember this? Do you remember that? To such an extent that a person forgets in which raka he is. He forgets whether it's the first or the second or the third raka. Be mindful of this, brothers. The Messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, When you hear the adhan, repeat what the muadhan says. Then ask Allah to extol and mention concerning the status of the Messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Because everyone who does it will receive in return, ten rewards from Allah. Then beseech Allah to grant me al wasila. That is a high rank in paradise, fitted only for Allah's slaves. And I hope that I will be that man, the Messenger of Allah, sallallahu alaihi wasallam. If anyone asks for al wasila for me, it becomes incumbent upon me to intercede for him. So here from the virtues of the Adhan, is when the Muadhan is calling the Adhan, we recite it, and then we extol and make mention, and we beg Allah to send Salah and Salam upon the Messenger of Allah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam And we beg Allah to send To give the Messenger of Allah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam al wasila The highest position in Jannah And whoever does this He Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam Will intercede for that individual We are from those who are in need of the intercession of the Messenger of Allah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. Also, the Messenger of Allah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said, the supplication made between the Adhan and the Ikoma is never rejected. The believer is one who will take heed to this and instead of pretending, and instead of just letting time pass and just finding some old talk, we would find time to make some dhikr, to make some dua. Oh Allah bless me. Oh Allah protect me. Oh Allah help the Muslims. 
who all are rectify our brotherhood, who all are increase me in knowledge, who all are, and you bear Allah for that which you need, who all are rectify my marriage, who all are heal my sick and ailing child or mother. Beg Allah at this time, because at this time, the dua is not rejected. La ilaha illallah wahdahu la sharika lahu, lahu al-mulku wa lahu al-hamd, yuhyi wa yumitu, wa huwa ala kuli shayin kudim. Bismillah wa alhamdulillah wa salatu wa salamu. على رسول الله وعليه وصحبه ومن ولا ثم ما بعد. Also from the virtues and the merits of pronouncing the adhan. But firstly, be mindful that when you hear Allah who Akbar, Allah is the greatest. Allah is greater than your job. Allah is greater than your family. Allah is greater than the brotherhood. Allah is greater than everything from the creation. And everything that we have, whether it is a good job, whether it is a good wife, whether it is children, a nice home, the comforts of our home, when we hear Allah who Akbar, Allah is the greatest, Allah is the one who has granted us this greatness. The comfort of our home, the beautiful wife that we don't want to leave off when we are sleeping. Our children, the dunya that we have amassed, the dunya that we love and we have at home, from the video games. And whatever else that we don't want to leave off when we hear Allahu Akbar. Allah is greater than all of that. The garden that you are toiling in, the streets that we are lining in, Allah is greater than all of that. And if we are not mindful, Allah can remove it. Or Allah can, can put some discord in our lives. The son of when they heard Allahu Akbar, some of them, they were like wonders in, back in, in that time, back in that time. The blacksmiths, they would be pouring metal, heating it and pouring it. And from the time they heard Allahu Akbar, they would not bring down that hammer, they would just drop it and immediately leave and head towards the solar. That is why they were given success in this life and the next. That is why we are struggling to get success in this life. That is the reason why we're struggling with the brotherhood. That is the reason why we are struggling with our marriages. That is the reason why we are struggling to pay bills. Because we put the dunya in front of the deen. Men is only talk deen over dunya. And post that up on the WhatsApp status. Deen over dunya. This is what it means to have deen over dunya. That when you hear Allah Akbar, you leave off your train, your business, everything, and you come for the salah. Even for the Juma, we make time, we prepare ourselves to reach you know, sufficient time to catch the Juma. And then you have Ashhadu an la ilaha illallah, the testification, the covenant. And you have some, some people who say they are Muslims not upholding the covenant. I bear witness, I believe, I testify. I believe, I am sure, I have certainty that Allah alone is deserving of worship. Nothing is deserving of worship besides Allah. But yet still we take our desires as gods besides Allah. We practice the deen how we feel. If I feel to practice Islam today, it's Islam today. If I don't feel to practice Islam on the weekend, khalas, that is it. 
When I feel to be a Muslim, that's how it is. No Laila Haila, that's not what Laila Haila Allah means. Ashadu anna Muhammad Rasulullah. And I bear witness, I testify, I believe that the Messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam is Allah's slave and messenger. We should follow him and no one else. What, what, what he sallallahu alayhi wa sallam would do if he was living in our community, he would leave off everything and head to the masjid. I love the messenger. I want to be with the messenger. Where's the actions towards that? How we expect to be with him in the next life if we don't want to accompany his sunnah in this life? Fear Allah. And I advise myself firstly to fear Allah. And again, I advise myself to fear Allah. And then I advise myself again to fear Allah and my family to fear Allah. And then I advise you to fear Allah. And stop taking to your desires. And then you have Haya Allah Salah. Come to the prayer. When it says come to the prayer, what does it mean come to the prayer? It means just stay home and pray. That is for the woman. The staying at home and praying is for the woman. So when you get accustomed to staying home and praying, then you are imitating the woman, not coming out for the solar. No matter how much you want to screw up your face on a daily basis, no matter how much people make you feel as a bad man, you're not a real man if you don't come out for the solar. We make our way for the solar. This is what real men do, establishing the deen. Haya al falah Everyone, the Muslim, the non-Muslim, the woman, the men, everyone wants success. Haya al falah What are we doing making effort towards success? There is something Allah has legislated. There is something the Messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam of hell. The son of the companions of the Messenger of Allah, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, this is something they, they died for. They, they laid on their lives so that we could have the adhan today. And what we doing with it? We are in Hayala Salah, come to the prayer, and men waking up, make wudu. Still, I want to say, I'm being there, sleepy, sleepy, yawning, yawning. Just pray, go back and sleep. Hayal al falah, come to the success. As salatu khayrum min al naum. Prayer is better than sleep. We only talk this. Prayer is better than sleep. It don't mean prayer at home. This is something specific for the fajr salah. As salatu khayrum min al naum. We make an effort for everything else. If we have an appointment for our passport or for a job and it's five o'clock in the morning and we are to go to Arima, we are to go Central, we are to go South, we will make it our duty to set our phones, to set our alarms. We call it our grandma, granny. I don't go for appointment five in the morning. Make sure, make sure you call me now. Call me until I answer the phone. Call me until I wake up. Because it's important. That dunya is important. But when we hear as salatu khayyum mina now, you have those who say they are Muslim still finding themselves asleep. Take heed to the advices, brother. And then we go back again. Allahu Akbar, Allahu Akbar. Allah is greater than this dunya. La ilaha illallah, again the covenant. And if we do not uphold the covenant, we will end up like the Jews and the Christians upon misguidance. Lastly, the last benefit of calling the Adhan, and hopefully we can take heed and maybe we, we may see one or two brothers rushing to call the other now. Now we just have a lazy kind of way, a lazy kind of spirit. 
kolet na kolet na do mata kolet na brothers the believers is be rushing to call the azan because of the virtues that it has the messenger of allah sallallahu alaihi wasallam said to one of the companions he said i see that you like living among your sheep in the wilderness so whenever you are with your sheep or in the wilderness and you want to call out them you should raise your voice because whoever hears the adhan whether a human or a jinn or any other creature they will testify for you on the day of resurrection so here the messenger of allah sallallahu alaihi wasallam said that whenever the adhan is proclaimed and pronounced whoever hears you whether it is the human and some of the disbelievers they like to hear the adhan call because they know it's time to get up and get <clears throat> we have that especially in our community i never hear anybody complain about the adhan in our community the adhan the 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 mic the the speaker or something it tone down something but it used to be louder people is complain that they not hearing the adhan again it not it not spreading as far i used to hear the adhan at home <clears throat> Some people live in down inside a bagatel, down by the rubbish heap. Here in the adhan, early in the morning, the Lord is trying to get up and get ready for work. We have that here. Do not be like those who lose the favor and honor from Allah, whereby people start to complain because Allah can twist the hearts of the people however He please. So whoever hears the 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 adhan being proclaimed whether it's human or jinn and jinn is from the unseen and verily they are around the devil too he hears and he takes his ears and he he diverts and he leaves and all the creatures the birds the dogs all the different animals the insects the cockroaches the flies all these different creatures the angels all these different beings whoever hears it will testify for you on the day of judgment and remember on the day of judgment everything will testify and things will either testify for you or against you it is up to you ربنا اعطينا في الدنيا حسنه وفي الاخره حسنه وقنا عذاب النار سبحانك اللهم وبحمدك اشهد ان لا اله الا انت استغفرك واتوب اليك